We welcome you back to Open Court. Because I am a man of my word, I will start this segment hmm. by going to uh, to Greg Anthony uh, so we can unload his his uh, wealth of knowledge on the Indiana Pacers. <laughs> uh, but really, it was a carryover. 90s and yes, 2000. They made the finals in 2000. Uh, Reggie Miller, obviously the centerpiece of that team. Um, so make your case for best team to not win it for well, Indiana. I think, again, it goes, you know, sometimes we, we focus more on the talent than the team. And a lot of the best teams weren't the most talented. And I would say the Pacers, the Bucks, like, you know, Reggie Miller is a Hall of Fame player, but he played with not only great players, but guys who appreciated their role. They just understand they appreciated their role. We had wars with the mm-hmm. Pacers. I mean, mm-hmm. first of all, Reggie, who I don't think gets enough credit, Reggie is one of the smartest antagonizing basketball players that ever played. Like, he knew what buttons to push. Or when and, to push you and, down. And when to push you down. That's another <laughs> good I like that one. But, but you know, you got to get that team. And, again, like, you don't, you don't often talk about them because they didn't have those superstars. Because even Reggie. Man, they have though, a guy who's a referee now. He will yeah, work. Yeah, working. <laughs> Come on, man. Wait, wait, wait. You know they were hey, superstars. Hey, Haywood was the team no, y'all talking no, about. Haywood hey, was really trying no, to be honest. No, Haywood's was a good guy. But, but you know what it was? They have superstars. And, and you know what would have been tough? The guy's a referee now. See, but see Webb. Y'all would have. That's never good, in the regular season. That's never good. See Webb's team would have killed him. Kevin kills that. Probably would have killed him because but then what happens when you get in the postseason? You got to play seven times. Yeah, but you got a lot of ifs. We didn't play them. We wouldn't have played them. They wasn't a team you ever thought was going to win the championship one year in 2000. No, well, we, I, we I was, played yeah, it. No, 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 that's the question. We, I just, I just want to keep it. Oh, you're talking about 2000. I'm going like, back to 90s. Like, for me in 2000, so I'm here. with you. I didn't think the 2000 the teams weren't as good. You, so you no. thought in the 90s when Jordan no, no, was no, there. No, 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 no. This guy's team, man, and, and, yeah. and I hate to breathe the bearer of, uh, of a cloud, but if there wasn't a dishonest referee, there might be a different champion, man. This guy's team was incredible. Fish don't believe. Fish not go agree with you. Let me hear from Fish. Let me hear D. Fish. I disagree with that. I I agree with that. The fact that they may have been the best team to not win a ring in the 2000s, but I don't agree with one game changing the series. But that one game, they were up. They were up in the series. And going home to the best home court advantage. But we could talk about. All that up all day because the fact is I didn't win, so we could be like, "Oh, it's the best team," and so yeah, I'm in the, I'm in the, you in the uh, I'm in the barbershop in the hall of fame. <laughs> hey, we almost would have did. But when we're talking about Indiana and Reggie is definitely like, no, one of my kid. favorite players. They weren't even close. Like they weren't even like. Let's Do just be honest. You can beat them. Them. On the scout report, Steve, was y'all worried about? In, you in, knew in they the were Eastern professionals Conference. in the Eastern Conference. No, in the, 90s, in the were... 90s, though, you were. Then 2000 team. Yeah. Against Reggie's team. Which team is going to be? The, the, the teams in the 90s. No, I'm just saying. What I'm saying. The 2000, the 2000, the 2000 Pacers, I, I, I don't think, I think was on, I think on that level. Well, that's the 2000. Was talking, not the, not the best 2000. team that went to the finals. The finals. No, like, that team was not his best team. That's what I'm trying to say. But they did to go to the finals. They yeah. went to the finals, but, but his 90s team. Would they have beaten Chris Webber's team? I, man, I don't know. The 90s team. Well, let me, let me, let me say this straight for you. Let me say Go this. back and look My at the games. My 90s Knicks teams would have beat his, his team. Who? First of all. Our 90s Knicks team. Now we're about to really good. get a good show. I would say that. Hey, let's go. He's supposed to say the same thing. But if we've been spinning our wheels for 45 minutes, now we'll show that. No, no, no. I just want to say this. Hey, Chris. Don't bite your tongue. Would y'all have beat the, the Pacers or would y'all have beat the Knicks? Yeah, I, I mean, I would have moved the center of a lot. Of, yeah, we, yeah, we would have definitely beat the Knicks. We beat the Knicks at my time in Washington when I had a hurt shoulder. We were not scared of beat the Knicks. Beat us when? We were not in scared a, of In a game? We were not scared Everybody of Everybody get beaten in the game. The Knicks were really good, but we didn't play against y'all, so we shouldn't get in this no, argument. No, no, what no, I'm, what I'm, what I'm saying, saying is, is Indiana wasn't that good. I, not to I love time. your analytic skills, but to go back in time and say they were that good when they didn't make the finals in the 90s, then to go back and say they was that good in 2000 because Jay and Reggie did work. I think they were the first players to have 40 in there, but as a big man. Rick Smith couldn't get out. We'd kill him on the pick and roll. Dell Davis couldn't shoot. We followed him. And sit, like, the, the Davis boys, lunch, lunch I, meat. I, I, so, I, I, so that's I, all I can say. Lunch meat. 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 Lunch 
Yeah. We know if you took away Reggie, at the end of the day, they couldn't go nowhere else. And I think that was the 90s. You face guard problem. Reggie. That if you no, face no, guard no, Reggie, no, 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 go no, under no, the screen no. on Mark we Jackson. Say, hey, hey, yeah. We were saying that about Jordan. If we take away Jordan, no, you can. No, it's we can, we can get the, what happened when y'all took away Jordan? Oh, you oh that. They still no, want to tell me. We had a lot of success against Jordan. I mean, if you go look at statistics, he'd have a lot of 10 for 35 games against us, bro. But did he win? They win? Was they, they won relative. some. Uh, what happened was... He won six. No, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make yeah, a point. He, won. he said they beat him. They also beat y'all in the playoffs. Am I, yeah, okay. our first so, year. So, our first but he's year. not claiming to be the best team in the 2000s. No, no, no. He's no. claiming to be the Yo, best team. I give them 2000. You ain't yeah. even listening to me. I said the 90s. The but 2000s. We the 2000s. Yeah, but he said I got to talk about the 90s. Damn. Oh. So I went back to the 90s. I'm still Don't saying, blame me for you. Don't blame me for your lack of an argument. The conversation in the 2000s is between Chris's teams and the Suns teams. The 2000s Pacers right. were more like the tail end of the great teams of the 90s. Yeah, I agree. They made it to the finals against the Lakers in 2000. Got some Lost. Idea. No, actually, that was the best series okay. that we actually played against an Eastern Conference so team. So you played against both teams, C-Webb's team or... The Pacer team, which was more difficult for y'all to play? Oh, see Webb's team. Yeah, the King. That's that's I've been saying well, but the King's about- teams of the two thousands right. were probably the best teams to not win it. So the conversation is between the Suns two thousands that didn't win mm-hmm. and Chris's team. And so the same that question that Kenny just posed to you about those two teams. I mean like we we had more difficulty with Chris's teams than the Suns, Suns. teams, but the Suns teams owned the Lakers teams that I wasn't on. Y'all team was good because y'all executed. You, everyone else. Y'all, y'all did your job. But the reason why I do think that we are the best team, not because of me, not because of Paige or Bibby, anything, but because they had two Hall of Famers and one Hall of Famer on the bench. They were unique in how they played, yeah, they which were. made them very hard yeah. to guard. Like some of those unique teams, like you can play the cookie cutter teams. They all do the same thing, just have better players. They played these a lot guys, like the Warriors play. Yeah, these guys were unique. And I tell Except you what, bigs they, they were hard to play against. I was managing mm-hmm. in Minnesota. And you look at them and say, boy, we got to match up with these guys and how they play. It was, uh, it was like you'd play four or five games, then you'd play them. And you go, man, that's a whole different game. I thought they had the most entertaining brand of basketball. I loved watching their team mm-hmm. play. I always rooted for them because I just loved how the ball moved think, and everything. Yeah. And Chris and, hit it on the head, though, about that. At the end of the day, too, that's another situation where I think you're a Hall of Famer, but they had the two best players on the floor. Yeah, you know, like right. that, that makes a... Well, and their others also, were focused. Right, but yeah. also and to go with that, but yeah. then because those, when you got those two best players, enough grimy players, everybody's got to have enough grimy players to me. Hey, sometimes you got to get down nasty and dirty and be all grimy, yes. and you just got to do it, and you got to enjoy it. And I've often said certain players can kind of get to that level, and other players are like, hey, that's just too much for me, yeah. man. Yeah, that's what's And that's what it comes down to. Different about our league now, to me, is that, in my opinion... And I know Shaq says it to others all the time when he's around. Mm-hmm. Robert Ory, Rick Fox, Brian Shaw's, Ron Harper's. Like, guys were okay, and, and you said it. Not just like, I'll accept this role I because relish. like that's what they told me I'm supposed to be doing, and mm-hmm. I can't wait till I get a different role yeah. at some other point. Like, we literally embraced the fact that these two dudes was the, probably the baddest two dudes on the court. And it was our job to do everything else necessary. We feared y'all just as much as those. No, nah, but it, it, it made, what made it easy for me, Vernon, Mario, Sam Cassell, I never, and this is God's honest truth, I've never heard Akeem say, my team. Mm-hmm. My guys. Or my guys. Never. Mm-hmm. So I never felt like he was like, wait a minute, what do you mean? I'm not your guy. I'm not like, <laughs> this is Rockets. <laughs> it's not, so I never felt alienated. I always mm-hmm. felt in, he made me feel inclusive, yes, even though he was the best scorer, the best defender, and the best player. But he made me feel inclusive in a way that I never questioned that. I think that's an excellent point. Coming up next on my show. Is- <laughs> 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 